in the heart of the small town, where gasoline used to be purchased, a new aroma has taken over. The mouth-watering smell of authentic Mexican cuisine. Turning old places into new, Lalibero is the talk of South Berkeley. For ethnical food, that is. I've always wanted to open restaurants since I was little. Uh, my dad has always, he's had, always had restaurants. My, my uncles still currently have restaurants up in the, you know, Fairfax, Alexandria, Woodbridge area. Following the family tradition, Sebastian Gomez is only 22 and running his own successful dining experience. He built his business from the bottom up, working every position in a restaurant until he knew exactly what it took to have his own. I started as a, just a server, so I would, always, I would work here on my days off, you know, one day a week, or sometimes I'd come here at like 10 o'clock, be here till 2 or 3 in the morning. Here with my dad, he, we, 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 we built everything, the boots and the arches and everything. It's just it's me and him. He calls Bunker Hill his home, and he wanted to build his own company in the place he knew best. I pretty much grew up in this area, so, you know, why branch out to a different area that I'm not familiar with? I get a lot of support from, from, from the schools and everything where I grew up around, so they, they, all, they all love to see somebody, one of their graduates doing, doing their thing, so. The menu is full of dishes that many patrons have come to love, and the reviews prove that success from complimenting the speed, the service, and the staff themselves. Some would describe it as a hidden gem. While Barrow is going so well, Sebastian shared some interesting news locals will love. I'm opening a new restaurant here in uh, here in Bunker Hill. The name's gonna be uh, El Lobo Bravo, Authentic Mexican Bar and Grill. So we're gonna shoot for a little, a couple more upscale options, you know, tomahawk steaks and pastas and filet mignons. With his new business expected to open in the next two months, Sebastian wanted to make sure locals craving authentic food didn't have to go far. Most of the people here want to go out to Hagerstown, they want to go out to, to, to Charlestown, or they want to go out to Winchester. So why not put it right in the middle and then just go for the everybody local so, so that way they don't have to drive too far to, to have some Mexican food. With TV10, I'm Cade Miller.